What is up guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today we're going to be talking about how to mod a General Skywalker team. Yes, most people are finally getting General Skywalker unlocked or to seven stars and whatnot. And we're going to go over how to mod him and his clones, the 501st squad for squad arena, territory battles, territory war, every aspect of the game. The only time you might mod clones a little differently is when you run them with the Shock T lead or the Kiati Mundi mission or something like that. But let's take a look right now at how you should be modding the 501st. And again, the way I mod them is based on kind of a hive mind of people that I have on Discord that kind of give the recommendations and have come up with the best ways to mod them and stuff like that. So we're going to start with General Skywalker. And it says that General Skywalker is an attacker. Yes, you would think he'd be the one dealing all the massive damage. Eh, not true. You want to mod him as a tank. The reason you want to mod him as a tank is because, remember, he's, when he stays up, none of the clones behind you can take damage. So you want them to be able to get, deliver a beating while he takes damage and can go as many times as possible with giving armor shred and dazing people and stuff like that. So I ha you, basically you want him, want him modded with protection in every area that you can mod him with protection. Protection in the uh, arrow, protection in the triangle, protection in the cross, protection in the circle, or whatnot. Some people put crit avoidance up here. I, I just say protection all over because again, it's when his protection bar falls is when he falls okay so i also have a potency set on him as well because i want him to be able to i want him to land days because that days is important and something he's always going to land armor shred when he uses that but we want to be able to get days as many on many people as possible so in the secondaries you want tank mods in the secondaries if you could get like right now this this square right here is perfect for him because i get uh, uh, an extra 1,369 protection base, an extra 2.06% per, uh, percent protection, and then 21 speed along with some health. Couldn't be a better mod. So, again, protect, and then uh, obviously you can throw in some offense in there to make things uh, go good as well. Um, so, that's how you want to mod him. We'll go over the complete statistics that I have him here. Um, his health is, health is 83,114. His protection is 129,047. 250 speed, which is pretty decent. Some people have him a lot faster. And then his damage is, you know, decent damage. But again, he is basically the tank of the entire battle. Next, let's take a look at Fives. Fives is very, very unique and interesting because of his tactical awareness. Okay, if another clone gets defeated while Fives is still on the battlefield, Fives dies instead, and he gives all the other 501st clone trooper allies his max health, max protection, speed, off and offense. So, when you mod him, you're you're not really modding him as a tank. One, he can take a lot of damage, but two, in some battles, you kind of want one of your other clones to die first so he can die. Yes, you want him to survive. So you're going to want to put an offense set on him first of all, so that 15% offense when he dies, automatically goes to um, the rest of the team. Now, I have modded him a little differently in certain ways than some people. A lot of people think you should have protection in the arrow, pr uh, protection in the cross as well to make him a little bit more tanky. I switch it up. Uh, I, I have the offensive set, but then I also have a defensive set here or whatever. Yeah, the, the shield set, uh, which is going to give me 25% extra defense, which is pretty good. But... As you can see here, so you want an offensive set, you want offensive secondaries if possible, um, and then really, you know, any other... He, he, the secondaries with him are... They're going to help either way. If you have defensive secondaries so he can take damage or offensive secondaries so he can spread that. But make sure you have an offensive set on him. And then, again, it's your choice to put offense in these mods or not. I kind of have it switched up with one protection, offense here, offense there. And his speed is pretty decent. We'll take a look. He, he still has 89,227 protection. I can easily get that up to 100,000 if I would take some of those offensive stats away. With 220 speed and then 6965 offense, which is pretty good and for the physical offense, and 6459 for the special. So we want him to transfer all those stats over. That's why you put an offensive set on a tank. Rex. What do we want Rex to do? We want Rex to go fast. We want him to be able to use his form up right away, to get tenacity up, to cleanse, to get to aerial advantage as quickly as possible. So you're going to want a speed set on Rex. What are you looking for in the secondaries? Yeah, a little bit of everything. Offense sure helps, so you want to definitely put offense in there as well. You're going to want a speed set and then really health or protection. I don't think it matters as much what you want in the circle. Um, 
protection probably to start with unless you unless you have a 6e health mod because that's gonna you know 5.88 percent health is a lot different than 24 percent protection i have offense in the um cross here you could put tenacity you could do stuff like that uh, I also have offense in the triangle. Again, I want people to do damage, and I have good speed in these as well, 22 speed, 17 speed. And then I have speed in the primary of the arrow. So put a speed set, and then you determine what you want to put in the other two. As you can see, I don't have a complete set here, but it's because what I kind of wanted with the mods. So when we go and we look, he's at a speed of 305. That, trust me, there's a lot faster Rexes in, in my shard arena and in the game in general. Um, but he does do some decent physical offense and some decent special offense. Um, and the aerial advantage is very, very important. Um, again, all the Zetas on these characters help tremendously. Um, and then we'll look at Echo. Echo, you want modded. This is just crit damage, crit chance. That's what you want with him. And then he's going to be assisting a lot, but you still want speed in the secondaries, okay? So offensive, uh, offensive secondaries and speed secondaries, very similar to what you want on most offensive characters. So I have a crit damage set and a crit chance set. Uh, in today's day and age, with seven uh, Relic 7s, crit chance isn't even as necessary, but I still have it on there. And then I have offense in the cross, uh, crit damage in the triangle, and then offense again up in the arrow because I want him to be able to do as much damage as possible. So um, really, he's modded because he's going to be assisting. He's going to be doing tons of damage. Uh, you want him modded for crit damage when it comes down to it. And again, I don't. I mean, the mods aren't the fastest uh, on him. Like I have, and this one has six speed. Okay, so he's not tremendously fast. He has a speed of 230. Probably should be a lot higher, but his crit damage is 222. His physical offense is high, and his special offense is way high. Um, and then, last but not least, we're gonna look at the Arc Trooper. The Arc Trooper you want modded for offense. Now, let me explain why you are not going to want any uh, the Blaster Turret. Okay, when it's summoned. Um, it says, I'll make sure we're, this object stats scale with the summoner stats. This object can only be summoned to the ally slot if it's available. This object can't be summoned in raids. This object can't be revived. If an effect counts defeated units, this object doesn't count. When there are no other allied combatants, this object escapes from battle. A unit can't be revived if the summon object exists in the space. Very similar to Geonos and Brute. Okay, so what does that mean? You're going to want an offensive set and a crit chance set. And you're going to want offense in the primary of the triangle because you want that extra offense to translate over to the turret as well. So you're going to want great speed in your secondaries with an offensive set because you want him going because when he goes, the turret goes, and then he can give tur the turret a buff to somebody else. So the turret keeps going and going and going. Preferably, I'd probably like a little bit uh, better offensive stats in these secondaries, but... Uh, really right here it was really looking for speed so i have an offensive set and then i have offense in the primary of the cross and again you know like i probably should have better offensive secondaries you guys will want to look for that but again i was just looking with what the speed and what i have with the primary and then crit chance can never go wrong potency tenacity speed and then uh, i do have speed in the arrow as well uh the secondaries i do not have good enough offensive secondaries you guys should really change that but look for a offensive set with a crit chance set and then we'll look here his health and his protection his speed is 310 which i'm very happy with and his damage is 10275 that's very 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 appropriate his critical chance is 68.35 um that could probably be a little higher as well but that's how you want to mod him guys okay you're modding him that way you're setting your uh for you know 310 you want your arc trooper fast you want your rex fast general skywalker uh so let's go into battle with them just like this after we've seen each of them and we're gonna i'm gonna show you the reason on why these things work so we're gonna go in against uh a mirror max against uh, mirror match against kmart returns if it ever loads into the battle here which would be wonderful Okay, here we go. So, of course, my uh, trooper gets to go first, my arc trooper, and I'm going to give turret to Rex. Because when Rex goes... Now, I want to try to keep the taunt off of fives, okay? So, you know, when he uses this, um, if no allies are taunting, fives is going to taunt. I really don't want fives to taunt, so I'm just going to use a basic. The only time I would use this is if I wanted to call in G General Skywalker to attack as well. But I'm just going to use a basic because we're going to get Echo to assist. So now let's go like this. The, 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 the turret's going to attack. Um, I'll throw this to increase some cooldowns and stuff like that. And now I'm going to use this to 
use Armor Shred and give days to everybody, which is extremely awesome. Now, their Skywalker is going to go down first. Sometimes it actually helps if your Skywalker goes down first, but it is what it is. So obviously you want to then attack their fives. Their fives is the first priority because you do not want the same thing to happen to you like that. Like, look at that. Oh, that would have been bad. Okay, just keep on going here. They're going to, they're going to, okay, my Rex is gone, so my fives is gone. But I am also, now the rest of my troopers are ready to go. Let's see, let's just give this to Echo this time. Damage is outstanding. I really need General Skywalker to get up. Okay, he did. Boom, good. Their General Skywalker goes down. This is good. This puts me in a very good position to win. Okay, get rid of their fives now they don't get any of the extra but or any of his extra statistics like mine does so we're just going to chew through the rest of them here no oh, yeah let's boost the turn meter i'm going to save the rexalate as i call it for when general skywalker gets up okay so again all the protection is allowing my general skywalker to survive or and then allow the clones to survive Let's give this to this again, because I just want to. And goodbye. Okay, so there. That's how you. That's how it's done. General Skywalker is able to take a beating. Your clones can get a bunch of stats from fives. And there you have it. This works well in every aspect of uh, territory wars, territory battles, uh, grand arena, uh, arena like that. You might want to change up the on fives. You might want to change up some of those offensive mods. Or you want an offensive set on him, but in some of the areas I had offensive in the primaries, you might want to put protection or something like that. But there, there you have it, guys. How to mod the General Skywalker team. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the subscribe button, like the video, click the notification bell so you can be alerted to all videos that I post. I'm also leaving a link to my Discord server, Patreon page, and Twitter page in the description below. Check all of those out. And as always, leave comments in the comment section along with video ideas. And let me know what you think. May the Force be with you.